Hello, welcome to The Daily Label. The Daily Label is our project where we take a product every day, we look at the label, look at the ingredients and try and understand some of the nutritional information behind it and get to the bottom of some of those ingredients that maybe you and us don't really understand. What's our product today? <laughs> our product today is uh, Kellogg Special K um, red, red Apple Almond and Vanilla Flavour. Ah. Sounds nice. It does sound nice, doesn't it? Um, let's have a look at the let's have a look at the front of the package. It says um, it's got fibre and whole grain, and nine vitamins and minerals. What do you think about that? Does that sound healthy? Yeah. So mm -hmm. we've also got a nice lady on the front here, which we um, know as Tess Daly. Especially, it says Tess Daly's recipe on the top here, um, and we've got some nice pictures of some apples and some almonds so um looks pretty good um it says nutri k at the bottom so that's something to do with nutrition do you think that's something important i don't know well i spoke to kellogg's because on the back here it says that um this product has a special case new nutri k flakes and i asked them what are nutri k flakes and they said well, we've improved our recipe to make it more nutritious, so we decided we'd put on a label that says nutri -K. So, it doesn't actually mean anything. But it's good marketing, isn't it? Because it sounds pretty impressive. We've got new nutri -K flakes! <laughs> um, and we've got Tess Daly having her breakfast on the back. And it's her recipe. So, you must buy it. If Tess Daly came up with a recipe, no? Probably. Okay, probably. Um, <laughs> should we have a look at some of the ingredients? All right. All right, let's have a look at the ingredients. What's the main ingredient? Rice. Rice, okay. Then what's the next ingredient? Whole wheat. So is there more, is there more rice than whole wheat? What does it have? Does it, rice. Do we have percentages? Yeah. What have we got? Rice forty percent or we get twenty five, which is near nearly ten percent off. Nearly ten percent mm. less. Less, yeah. Whole yeah. wheat. So when it says with fibre and whole grain, actually it's mainly rice, isn't it? There's no whole grain it's not mainly whole grain, it's mainly rice. So that's not necessarily the right kind of message. But anyway. It does have whole grain in it, but no, it's not predominantly whole grain. And then the third ingredient we've got is... What? What's what? the third ingredient? Sugar. I love sugar. <laughs> it's sugar. It's sugar. <laughs> then we've got some dried apple. That's okay. Vanilla flavour clusters. Now these have... You've forgot the concentrated lemon juice. Well, yeah, that's all right. It's apple and concentrated lemon juice, obviously, to kind of help in the drying process, I suppose. Then we've got the vanilla-flavoured clusters in here, which are cereal, oats, rice, whole wheat, wheat flour, barley, malted barley flour, um, sugar, again, vegetable oils. How much sugar are in here? Well, let's have a look. What's interesting is on the front here, we do have the nutritional information, but it's not traffic lights. Remember, we said that traffic lights are quite good because they show you if you've got a lot of a bad item in there, then it's red, red, red. Um, amber for, well, yeah, it's OK. And then um, green is pretty fine. Green is fine. We don't have the traffic lights here, so it's a bit more difficult for us to decide whether whether it's got a lot of sugar in it or not. Um, it says it's got 5.7 grams of sugar, but that's per portion of 30 grams, which is not that much, 30 grams. So let's have a look here. Sugar per 100 grams is 19 grams. So it's 20, 20 grams worth of sugar. Some of that obviously might be natural from the rice, but still, it's quite a lot, isn't it? 20 grams of sugar. Um, per 100 grams, that's 20%. It's a lot of sugar in a product that's supposed to be healthy. Mm. <laughs> okay, then we've got vegetable oils, palm, sunflower and rapeseed. Did you remember we talked about rapeseed 
oil in one of our other videos. Do you remember whether that was a good oil or a bad oil? Or Good oil. You're a right. bad oil. Well, it's quite a good oil, yeah. Out of all of the oils, it's probably the best because it's got the le least amount of saturated fat in it. Um, and then there's palm oil as well in here. Now, some people are a bit worried about palm oil because um, there have been lots of reports of large chunks of the rainforest in Indonesia being cut down for palm oil because it comes from the palm root tree. And we know Orangutans that, don't, that. don't have any place to live. Yeah, the orangutans then don't have any place to live. So what a lot of companies are do is doing is trying to get palm oil from sustainable sources, which means trying to get palm oil from sources which are not going to do any damage to the environment and to the orangutans. And I spoke to Kellogg's about that, and they said, yes, we are sourcing now from sustainable sources, so we should feel a bit better about that. Those orangutans hopefully should be in better conditions. Let's hope so anyway. Then we've got milk whey powder, glucose syrup. Oh, glucose syrup, what's that? Sugar. Sugar. Sugar alert. <laughs> Barley malt flavouring, salt, starch, flavourings. Now, flavourings. Here, Mr Kellogg, when I spoke to him. He's with your Mr Kellogg. No, it's, uh, it wasn't Mr Kellogg when I spoke. Oh, I thought it was Mr Kellogg. <laughs> oh. Anyway, it wasn't Mr Kellogg apparently, but I thought I was speaking to Mr Kellogg. He said he had to go away and check whether flavourings here were natural or artificial. And I've been waiting and I've been waiting and I've been waiting and... For more than for, one hour? Well, no, I've been waiting now for more than four days for an email from Mr Kellogg. And it's just come... Not from Mr Kellogg! Uh, sorry, not from Mr Kellogg. <laughs> And it's just come in to tell me that the only flavouring in this product is barley malt flavouring, which is listed here as a separate ingredient, but I'm still a bit confused why then it says flavouring, so I'm not sure I've been given the full information. Now, if I was standing in a supermarket trying to decide whether to buy this, and I actually called the helpline to get a quick response, then that's really not going to work, is it? Because it's taken them about four or five days to come back to me. So we think... Kellogg's should make a bit more effort in making sure that all of their telephone operators have as much information on ingredients as possible. Um, then we've got emulsifier soy lecithin. Do you remember what that is? It's um, something to stick things together. It sticks things together, emulsifier, yeah. It's natural, it's from the soya bean. We've got glazing agent gum arabic. Arabic gum, no, Where's... African gum. It's African. It's you not from said, Arabia. You said it's African. <laughs> no, I said it's gum Arabic. You said it's African. No, yeah, it's true. It's African. Um, gum Arabic is, gl is a glazing agent. It makes things shiny and it comes from the seeds and the stems of the acacia tree, which is um, grown in sub-Saharan Africa. Flavourings, honey, malted barley flour, almonds, um, barley malt flavouring, salt. We haven't found that much about barley malt flavouring, so if there's anybody out there that knows a bit more information on that, then maybe you can let us know in the comments. Okay, so now we decide and eat, not eat. Eat or not eat. Let's check. Okay. Are we ready? Are we ready? Are we steady? Tess, we're about to tell you some very important information. Don't be sad if it's not what you want it to be. I'm ready. I steady. Okay, I am a not eat. I'm a not eat. What are you? You're just sort of waving your Eat and not eat. Eat and not eat. Because and there are some in healthy ingredients and some not healthy ingredients. True, but I tell you why I wouldn't eat it. I think I wouldn't eat it because it's got a lot of sugar in it. Or or not that it has a lot of sugar. It just has sugar. I don't see why I should have sugar on my cereal if I'm going to have some whole grains that I can maybe get separately and then put some fruit on for sweetness, then I'd rather do that in the morning. <laughs> so that's why I'm not eating it. Okay, thank you. And of course you can tell us if it's an eat, not eat in the comments below. And we hope to see you soon at The Day Label. And remember to subscribe to our channel for more of these videos. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>